As the Russian assault into Ukraine shows no signs of abating, oil and gas prices are going up. The U.S. president has announced the release of almost about 60 million barrels of oil to try and stabilize the global energy crisis. I can announce the United States has worked with 30 other countries to release 60 million barrels of oil from reserves around the world. America will lead that effort. We need to see 30 million barrels of our own strategic petroleum reserve. And we stand ready to do more if necessary, united with our allies. The fallout from severe sanctions on key exporter Russia is, of course, sowing confusion and panic amongst global crude oil traders, shipping firms and importers. European gas prices have surged by almost about 50 percent. Brent crude dropped at $112 per barrel. Now, this is the highest that it has been since 2014. And this despite several developed nations planning to release about 60 million barrels of oil from their strategic petroleum reserves to try and cool off the price of oil. The surge in fuel prices is set to increase the inflationary pressures, which is already affecting the global economy. Russian oil exports account for almost about 8% of your global supplies. The Western nations have not imposed sanctions on energy-related exports directly. The United States traders are shunning Russian crude, though, or at least that is what is being reported. And Germany's vice-chancellor is travelling to Washington for talks with the US officials. And that will focus on energy security and the need to ramp up renewable energy sources in the wake of Russia's attack on Ukraine. The Germany gets a large share of its energy from Russia in the form of coal, oil and gas. The Vyond's correspondent Susan Terani has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. During his State of the Union address, U.S. President Joe Biden mentioned energy sparingly. The president did say that he's releasing oil from the U.S. strategic oil reserves as a means to lower gas prices for Americans here in the United States. The president also insisted that oil producers here in the country have the capability to step up their production under the current administration's policies. However, experts say that it's the White House's aversion from fossil fuel pipelines that has made the United States so dependent on foreign oil. After all, back in 2019, the United States was energy independent. The White House has so far pushed back on the idea that the only way the United States and its allies would remove their dependency from Russian oil would be to produce more oil here in the United States. Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, was recently asked about this, and she said the best way is to move away from oil altogether and look for other means of energy. However, many believe that economies cannot run on green energy if Europe has any indication. And for now, at least, replacing fossil fuel with green energy may not be the best option. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.